Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout for Hip Kit Club. I am using the amazing December kits. This is my first layout using the December kits. They are beautiful. Um, and I'm also using this subscriber cut file uh, with the three snowflakes. Um, so this is for Mixed Media Monday. That is my assignment today. So I am focusing today on the uh, December color kit. Now I'm delighted that we have shimmers paints in the color kit. Um, I'm on the shimmers paints design team so I have lots of shimmers products. I love working with them. They're definitely my go-to and my favorite product uh, for mixed media layouts. Um, so I'm using um, two colors from the kit. We have three but I decided the color scheme I was going for I just wanted to use two of the paints um, from the color kit uh, for my background um, so I'm using Inklings Oaky Bear Blue and Inklings Naughty or Nice um, now if you're not familiar with um, Shimmer's products um, some of them are so the, the Christmas cheer shimmers that we've got in this kit is a wet paint it's a, an original shimmers it's an already mixed watercolor ready to use you just dip your brush in um, and uh, you can start painting straight away the other two the two that I'm using today the inklings are actually a hard paint so if you imagine um, like a watercolor palette uh, for example you have little hard cakes of um, paint um, and you have to put water on them in order to uh, get the paint from them. Well, the inklings are very, very similar to that. Um, you can uh, just put some water on or dip your paintbrush in water and then rub them directly onto the hard paint and you will get some color, although um, not loads. Um, so the best thing to do with inklings is just to spritz into the pot uh, a couple of spritzes, three spritzes of water um, and um, or if you don't have spritzer then just a uh, paintbrush um, and dips, uh, drip some drips in there and then leave it for two to three minutes um, and that will effectively dissolve the top layer of the paint and then you'll get this wonderful rich beautiful paint to paint with so I have already um, done some painting here you can see that I have um, let my inklings and so my naughty or nice and oaky bear blue I've let them sit for a few minutes so I have a lovely rich paint I've then picked it up out of the pot and put it onto some packaging and applied it directly to my uh, marshmallow background um, with the packaging technique so I've done the blue first and waited for that to dry and then I added some of the red the naughty or nice um, at the top and the bottom and then I've added splatters in both colors um, around the outside edges of those uh, that background there so you can see that I'm kind of going for a central design I actually end up with a completely vertical design but uh, all is good um, you know these things progress don't they as uh, as we as we move on um, so um, I have um, also cut some snowflakes that beautiful cut file um, that I showed at the beginning um, and uh, I have cut those from marshmallow cardstock and I'm spending some time painting those ones I think I cut out nine um, and uh, yes yeah, so I have just painting those I'm going to leave them to sit aside to dry you can see that I started off there by dipping the um, the snowflake directly into the paint that was on my packaging technique that's a great way of getting some color onto a cut file with um, you know like a watercolor effect rather than the, the heavy painting that I'm doing with that one that one's working really well I want basically I want a variety of snowflakes so I've got some um, really blue ones some really pink ones or red ones um, and then I've got some that are a mixture of two they're a bit purpley um, and some are kind of half and half so it was just uh, I wanted to have a, a variety of um, of uh, different colored snowflakes rather than them all be one flat color um, so that's how I achieved that so now um, like I said um, I didn't want to bring in the gold color from the color kit just because of the color scheme that I was planning to use it already worked out what papers I was using um, and uh, and what ephemera and things so I said not to bring in the gold but to bring in some silver instead so I did just grab some silver paint from my stash and just added some splatters so nothing um, I didn't add it with the packaging technique or anything I just added some extra splatters in silver um, so what I'm doing now, I wanted to apply some glitter to my snowflakes. So um, last month in the November um, colour kit, we received some Gluvo, no it's not Gluvo, Nuvo Glimmer Paste um, in, it was like iridescent, it was like a see-through, um, it was basically just really super glittery. It wasn't silver, it was, it's more white. So it's called Moonstone um, and it's a really lovely, beautiful white paste that is very, very glittery. Um, so um, I just grabbed some of that and 
and applied with my um, spatula um, over the top of my snowflakes. They're, they're not quite dry, but they're touch dry at this point. Um, and I've just got some of the glimmer paste onto my spatula and I've rubbed it directly over the snowflakes um, so that they're all now super duper glittery. So I've just set those aside to dry. Um, so um, yeah, so snowflakes are ready to go. I um, decided, uh, thought about using the stencil uh, from the kit, but decided against it because the um, stencil was very square and my design is quite um, circular. So I have a circular photo and I've got these wonderful um, snowflakes or stars here. These are from one of the pattern papers. Um, they're exclusive pattern papers, absolutely gorgeous. And the second I saw this paper, I knew I had to fussy cut out these snowflakes um, and use them on a layout. So um, I spent some time fussy cutting all of them out, but actually I'm only gonna use, I think five on this layout. Um, I actually decided to stitch around the pink detail that was on uh, the diamonds. Um, so I did, wait, did a bit of a pattern. So I, um, on one diamond, I just, pierced the four corners and then the next time in round I um, hand stitched um, many like with normally how I would normally do so about you know under a quarter of an inch apart holes and then the next one I did just the four corners and the next one I did proper stitching etc so I did that um, on all of the diamonds uh, for all five of the ones that snowflakes that I'm using on this layout so there we go they're all stitched now um, unless you look at them really closely you can't really notice it but it does have add a nice little bit of extra texture um, okay, so here is my background. I'm really pleased with how it's looking. Of course, paint tends to dry lighter than what it is when you first apply it. So I've got this blue and pink background um, and I'm really, really happy with how that's looking. Um, I decided to come in with a few snowflakes from this stamp set. So the December stamp set is gorgeous. It's full of uh, gingerbread houses and snowflakes and hearts and stars and it's just lovely. Um, so I grabbed out some inks. I've got some inks from the stamp market. Um, I started off with a light pink, but actually it wasn't right. It really wasn't right. It was just the wrong shade. So I put that one back and I pulled out one called Coral, uh, which was a much better match to the uh, Naughty On Ice paint that I had got down. I'm also using a navy one too. I'm using three different sized snowflakes that are on my uh, stamp kit, on the December stamp kit. Uh, a big one, a medium sized one, and a teeny tiny one. Um, so I'm just randomly stamping all over the same area that I have got my mixed media and my splatters. Um, and uh, yeah, so that is looking lovely. Okay, my background is complete. My stars are stuck down, my photos stuck down. And now I can just start building up the rest of the layout. So uh, my stars are in place and now I'm just tucking in those fantastically amazing snowflakes. I can't believe how well these turned out. Um, so like I said earlier, I painted them first on it's their marshmallow cardstock. Um, I cut them from that. I had to, I painted them with the shimmers. Paint, some were a mixture of both colors, some were individual colors. Um, and then I applied the Nouveau Glimmer Paste from last month's kit over the top of them to give them some super duper glitter. Um, and they just look so shimmery and so shiny and just gorgeous. You can't see um, right now on the screen um, how glittery they are that only shows up in real life so but then you might capture a little bit of it on the uh, close-ups at the end so um, I wanted to use this title it's from one of the ephemera packs the exclusive ephemera packs it says sharing life together and it's a white die cut with black writing um, because my mixed media background is quite busy and my snowflakes are busy um, it didn't show up too well on its own so I've just mounted it onto a piece of grey cardstock that was in the cardstock kit for December um, and uh, that way I have the perfect title um, in place um, and I can it's could have got an outline on it you can really see it uh, so I've just assembled one of the bows from one of the from the bow set from the um, from the December kits. I love bows, I absolutely love bows. They're one of my favorite things. Um, so I had to dive in and use one straight away. And some of them are silver foiled, awesome. So I've just picked out one of those. Um, I really also wanted to use these white leaves. Um, I really, when I saw these, I just thought they are awesome. They're gonna look brilliant. But of course, um, they're only gonna look brilliant really against darker background. Um, and they got a bit lost in my mixed media, unfortunately. So I was a bit disappointed with how they turned out. Um, nothing to do with the product, just the background was not quite right. So I've, I've used a few around the right hand side of my photo because I have a bit of a gap going on there. 
um, but they don't show up too well so sorry about that I need to put them on a darker background I think um, I also pulled out some of the really beautiful acetate pieces now I looked at some of the snowflakes and to see whether they would work but they didn't because they if I had a light snowflake for example or if it was silver foiled but um, in a line style uh, rather than solid um, you couldn't really see it against the, the background so the three that I did use were the solid snowflakes the, like foil solid foiled snowflakes Does that makes sense so they weren't a line style they had um they were filled in with the silver uh foil and they look amazing <laughs> they're so good they're the right they're the right products to use on this layout the other ones will look beautiful on something else but on this layout in particular um they needed to show up because of course the layout is quite busy uh with all the mixed media <clears throat> um so um those three silver ones um, that uh, are solid uh, snowflakes look fantastic. I was so happy and they just give this extra shimmer and shine. What with the silver bow as well, um, they just all, it just all goes together so beautifully. Um, so I'm just coming in now to add some silver thread, some twiddles of uh, silver threads. I'm just gonna tuck those in here and there um, to this layout. So I've obviously got lots and lots of um, snowflakes and stars and things going on here. Um, so I'm just gonna poke those threads um, underneath some of the layers that here and there. I've got um, three in the end. I put one at the bottom there, one over on the left hand side, and then one up there on the right as well. So they kind of frame my photo a little bit. Um, I've also pulled out some heart-shaped ephemera. They are from one of the ephemera packs. Um, I've just pulled out those uh, some three three hearts in pink, um, and I've just mounted those on foam pads and just randomly kind of stuck them around the layout as well. Um, so they are perfect addition to this layout. They are a brilliant color. The pink and the red just so perfect. Um, so I'm just coming in now with a few little puffy phrase stickers. I love these, they're so cute. I love little label stickers anyway. Um, over on the right hand side I've added three that say embrace the chaos. So grateful for you and you are loved. I mean embrace the chaos is just perfect for our family. So <laughs> that was ideal. And then on the left hand side I've put these are my people. So what great phrases, hey. So I'm now just adding uh, the final touches really, um, so a few stars, I really love these um, puffy stars, a whole sheet of them, just so happy to have stars, I love stars. Um, stars and bows are just my favourite. Um, so I've added a few of those in, I've got some pink ones um, and um, some darker ones like black ones um, and uh, yeah they're, they're really lovely. Um, so I always feel that my layout should have a border. I'm always a little bit uncomfortable if they don't. So I've thought about having a grey border. Um, in the end I decided just to distress the edges uh, with my scissors and then I went round the edge uh, three times with some wavy lines of machine stitching. So I've done white uh, thread so it doesn't show up too well um, but in real life it's an, a nice extra little textural detail. Okay, so that is me completely finished. Um, here are the close-ups. Hopefully you can see some of the glitter um, on the snowflakes. They really do look amazing. Give this a go. It's a lovely technique. Um, okay, so uh, don't forget that if you are a HipKit Club subscriber, you get the main kit at a reduced price, 15% discount off all add-on kits, and you get access to exclusive subscriber cut files like the snowflakes I used today. So um, lots of reasons to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. That was Nikki Rowland for HipKit Club.